This is you when trying to improve at LeetCode, and this is LeetCode. This demonstrates that if you don't practice LeetCode with the right framework in mind, which most people don't, LeetCode will continually beat you down and you will quit. If you're new here, hi, I'm Topsui, the rank 10 LeetCoder in the world, having solved all 3,261 problems on LeetCode. I remember vividly how I struggled with easy problems on LeetCode when I first started four years ago, leading to me quitting altogether. Looking back, I now realize that I wasn't too stupid for LeetCode, I just didn't have the right guidance. In this video, I will condense my four years of leak coding into the key insight that I wish I knew when I was a beginner that will accelerate your leak coding journey. The key insight that propelled me from a beginner to an expert is the black box method. What this means is to think about both concepts you know well and concepts you have no idea how they work in terms of inputs and outputs. For example, as a beginner, it's super common to be unable to solve problems because you don't know what BFS is or what a segment tree is. This is not because you're stupid, you just haven't seen these concepts before. Instead of being blocked for weeks trying to learn these concepts, just learn the general context. Know their inputs and outputs, their time and space complexities, which situations to use them, and how they compare to similar data structures and algorithms. The implementation itself can always be learned later, just write a reminder down on a sticky note. Store your favorite implementation in a folder and copy and paste it when you need it. For example, for Dijkstra's, know that it takes a directed or indirected graph with non-negative weights and returns the shortest path from a source node to every other node. It takes O of M plus N log N time and works well when you want the shortest path for graphs that do not have negative edges. How it does so exactly doesn't really matter. This will rapidly accelerate your progress by letting you solve many more problems in much less time. Say, after solving 10 problems like this, now you know the different situations and the benefits of this data structure or algorithm, learning the implementation will be much faster and be much more intuitive. I want to be clear, it's important to learn how they are implemented in order to be able to modify it for more difficult problems. However, it shouldn't block you from solving problems, especially as a beginner. The second point I want to make is that this black box model builds strong thinking in terms of high level abstraction, which is how experts think about problem solving. For example, when you think about binary search, I don't think about a while loop and two pointers and checking the midpoint until termination. I think about a general technique that applies to monotonic functions. When you think of segment trees, I don't think about a binary tree representing intervals. I think about a general way to update and query ranges efficiently in O of log n time. Even for concepts you already know well, for example, BFS and DFS, don't think about them at their implementation level. Abstract all these concepts and think about them one level higher at the black box layer. To problem solve difficult problems quickly, you need to be able to pattern match and cycle through various black box concepts fast to see if they can apply. Using your intuition of how and in what situations BFS DFS work in will let you know if they can be used in this new problem. And if not, think about other black boxes like Unified, Dijkstra's, and so on until some other approach seems reasonable. The overall point is do not waste too much time in getting bogged down into the details. As a beginner, it's super common to get blocked in trying to understand complicated concepts like Dijkstra's, segment trees, unifying, and so on. It is much more important to understand how to use them and in what situations they are most applicable when problem solving than regurgitating the implementation from memory. The top LeetCode experts think at a high level using the black box method to quickly pattern match and find the best approach to form a solution. For many algorithms and data structures, we don't have the implementation memorized. We just understand when and how to use them in certain situations and copy and paste or modify on the fly. In my case, if you ask me how to implement KMP or a segment tree right now, I will struggle. But because I've solved hundreds of problems using these concepts, I've built up a strong intuition for when we can leverage them. So if you want to improve at LeetCode, you need to focus on having a strong problem solving ability using the black box method. Anyone can memorize a bunch of algorithms and data structures, but having the problem solving skills to know how they are used and the situations they can be most beneficial is crucial for any skilled leak coder. Thanks everyone for watching and the support lately. I just hit 10,000 subscribers and really appreciate everyone's kind words. Follow for more leak tips.